today is Thanksgiving. And the cats are gonna play with their new toys from Zoa. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Look at that. Stella's trying to get at them already. Stella knows they're in the... She knows they're in the envelope. Ah! Oh, Stella! Don't scratch me. You want to play with the toys? You got to let me have the envelope, Stella. You got to let me have the package, Stella. You want to play with the package? Stella, wouldn't you rather have what's in it? Okay, let me have it. I had to wait until she was looking the other way. Stella, let me show people. Let me show people. This is what the cats got. Stella, be good. This is what... Okay, Stella took hers. <laughs> she took hers. The cats got turkey legs. Aren't these cute? Zoa made these. Thank you very much, Zoa and Marty, for the turkey legs. Stella is very much enjoying hers. And there's Splash and his turkey leg. Crooked Splash, he's rolling around on it. That cardboard box behind Splash, that's a new pet stroller. It's a pet stroller that's also a carrier. I haven't opened the box yet. Simba says he's going to take Splash's turkey leg. Stella has decided to lay on top of her turkey leg. Let's see if we can move it. Can I move your turkey? Oh, no. She says, don't touch my turkey leg. Don't touch it. She wants to lay on top of it. Okay, Stella, you lay there with your turkey leg. Stella says, thank you very much, Zoa. She really enjoyed some catnip this morning. I'm giving it to them in the morning so they can be nice and mellow today when everyone else arrives. Stella has decided to take Splash's turkey leg. She's going to lay on top of Splash's turkey leg. I just gave Simba Stella's turkey leg. What the turkey leg? Boo's been watching squirrel videos all morning. He likes to watch the black squirrels. I just gave him his turkey leg, but I think he's really preoccupied with the black squirrels. Stella's now taking splashes. Stella says all the turkey legs are for her. She wants all of them. She's claimed them. Boo says, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. and Simba are wearing a boa together. Isn't that cute? They're sharing a boa. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'd like to give a shout out to Abril and C.R. Barboni. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. 
I'm here with the cats and they're all sitting in their scratch and rolls. So here is Simba. He's in a scratch and roll. And there's Stella. She's sitting in a scratch and roll. Here's Boo. He's sitting in a scratch and roll. And there's Splash. He's almost sitting in his scratch and roll. So my question is, why do cats like scratch and rolls so much? These cats love these scratch and rolls. Look, they are like easy chairs for cats. They love them. But why do they love them so much? Simba, can you tell us why you like your scratch and roll so much? You say because it's comfortable? Simba says he likes it because it's comfortable. Boo, can you tell us why you like your scratch and roll so much? Boo says it reminds him of being outside, but in a good way, not a bad way. Stella, can you tell us why you like your scratch and roll so much? Stella says it's not a scratch and roll, it's her throne. Okay. Splash, can you tell us why you like your scratch and roll so much?
Splash you with some crutches? Hello, Splashy. Want some crunchies? Splash, you want some crunchies? Splash, you want some crunchies? Do you? Come here, give me a pet. Come here, Splash. Give me a pet. You want some crunchies? Simba, you want some crunchies? Simba says he'll give me a pet. He'll give me a pet. See, Splash is the good boy because he uses the scratching post to scratch on. And Simba just goes past it and uses the sofa. It's about 10.30 p.m. right now, look at this. Stella and Simba are wearing a boa together, isn't that cute? They're sharing a boa. They love it. Like mother, like son. Stella, you're so pretty, you're so pretty in your boa. Simba, you like wearing the boa? Simba says he wants some catnip. Okay, I'll give you guys some catnip. Okay. This is what happens when I put catnip out for the cats. All they want to do is eat it. I put some on Boo's back. Okay, is he going to roll around on it? So this is what they do. They just want to eat it. They don't want to play with it. They just want to eat it. I just give him some more catnip. This time I squashed it up in my fingers just in case maybe it wasn't like aromatic enough. Maybe it wasn't activated and they're doing the same thing. All they want to do is they just want to eat it. Boo's rubbing around on it a little bit, but I don't know what has happened to them. I hope they're not getting immune to it. Hello Simba, it is 9.30 a.m. and I am going out for the day and the cats are going to be on their own all day so I've set their automatic feeders for them. They had some crunchies in their automatic feeders this morning, then I gave them breakfast which they only ate half of so that's still downstairs. They can pick on that if they want it. Um, they're going to have raw food in their feeders for dinner. There's crunchies in their feeders for tomorrow morning. I should be back, but just in case I stay overnight, then they will have breakfast. Okay, Simba, you're going to be a good boy today. Make sure there's no bugs in the house, okay? What I've done here is I've put some tissue paper out for them. I've been wrapping some Christmas presents recently, and every time I do, they want to sit on the tissue paper. So I decided I'll give them some that they can play with or sit on while I'm uh, out of the house today. Here's Boo, he's all ready to do his job. He's stationed by the window so he can look out and make sure there are no strange animals or people in the yard, right Boo? Here's Splash, he's in the dining room, he's under the table, and he's making sure that none of the other cats attack the furniture. And here's Stella, she's downstairs. Stella's job is to keep the peace and make sure everyone minds their manners, right Stella? Yeah. It's about 11 p.m. I'm just about to go to bed and sit was on top of the armoire. He's hanging out near the penthouse. It was so cute how he was laying, so I put the I put the camera on and of course he just picked his head up and he now he's moving around.
It is 9.35 a.m. and there's Ditto. I don't know where he's been. It has been raining um, for the past 24 hours. Actually, probably the past 36 hours. There's Hydrox. I just gave him two scoops of homemade raw food. And when I looked outside to see if he had eaten it, then I noticed that Ditto showed up. And um, so now I'm going to give them some canned food. And here's Boo. Boo's been watching them through the door. He's really interested. And Boo did not eat his food, so maybe I'll just give them Boo's food also. Unless someone else ate it. Here's Boo's food. That chunk of food is some canned food that I used to try to bribe him to eat. And it looks like someone else ate his food. I just gave them a can of food. I split a six ounce can of food between the two of them. Hydrox is eating it and Ditto's just rubbing himself on the step. With all the rain, so many of the leaves that were left on the trees have fallen now. The trees were so spectacular over the past several days, like so much color. They just looked amazing. And then I looked out today and like the trees are half bare now, which is always kind of sad. We're definitely rounding the corner into winter. There are some years when Thanksgiving arrives, there's still plenty of leaves on the trees. But this is not going to be one of those years. Looks like Hydrox is enjoying his food. And hopefully Ditto will eat some more. There is dry food in the feeder. So they do have food. Um, the forecast is for rain all day today. And all day tomorrow. So usually when there's rain on the forecast, the cats like to eat a lot of food. I'm here with the cats. There's Splash, and Stella, and Simba, and Boo, and it is mail time. Let's see what the cats got. They got an envelope here. Let's see what's in it. We got a glass and lens wipe and this is from Carlos DeLuca. Thank you very much Carlos. And here's another envelope. And we got some bandages. Thank you very much Carlos. Here's another envelope. And it looks like we have some post-it notes. Thank you very much, Carlos. Here's another envelope. And it's another glass and lens wipe. Guess who it's from? And here's another envelope. And here's another glass and lens wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. And another glass and lens wipe. Carlos likes to keep the post office very busy. These are a lot of envelopes to uh, write on. You know, the address and the return address. That's a lot of writing. And look what it is. It's another glass and lens wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. All of my glass and lenses are going to be very, very clean. And here's another glass and lens wipe. And here's another glass and lens wipe. I wonder what this is. Do you think it's a glass and lens wipe? It's some post-it notes. Thank you, Carlos. And here's another glass and lens wipe. It's about 11 p.m. right now and the cats are having crunchies. There's Boo, Simba, and Stella. And there's Splash. So it's four cats in a row. 
eating their crunchies. Splash, you are full of personality. You are Mr. Personality, right, Splash? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Today is fish day, so the cats are having sardines for breakfast. They're having some tiki cat sardines with a few crunchies on top. There you go, guys. They enjoy fish day. And here's Splash. It's 9.30 a.m. I heard Hydrox meowing. So I opened the door and sure enough, there's Ditto. These two cats are so muddy. They're so full of mud. It has not stopped raining yet. It's been raining for days at this point. There's Ditto and Hydrox are eating their food. I gave them one of the 5.5 ounce cans of food from Stop and Shop. I mixed in a bunch of warm water and then I split it between them. It's really soupy what I gave them, but you know, it's good for them to get the liquid. It's a nice warm meal for them because it is cold out. And there are leaves everywhere. So many leaves. And here's Boo, he's watching from inside. The table is covered in leaves. The patio is covered in leaves. The lawn is covered in leaves. It is 7.20 p.m. and this is a pile of haddock. Uh, that I cooked for the cats. Uh, this is some fresh fish that was recently caught off of the coast of Cape Cod uh, by one of Grandma Farrell's friends and they give her a lot of fish when they have a lot of extra fish and then she gave it to me because I told her the cats really like it so um, I just cook this and I let it cool and then I flake it up with my fingers and I take out as many bones as I could find. I try to find all the bones, so I went through here a few times, but the cats absolutely love cooked fish. And I just found that out a few weeks ago when I gave them some cooked cod like this. Um, so today they're gonna have the haddock. Hopefully they'll like it just as much, but I just wanted to show you. Um, it was a few fillets of haddock, and, and I baked them until they're cooked through. And then I cool them down and then I flake them up and I'm going to divide this among the cats and they really enjoy this. This is what the cats are getting for dinner. It almost looks like plates of snow. And Simba and Boo love this and Stella usually doesn't but it looks like she's eating it. And Splash usually enjoys it too. So they get some cooked fish maybe every other week. Today is fish day. Once a week they have fish day, so they have fish in a can, and now they have cooked fish. They really enjoy it. And when I put it on their plates, I went through it again with my fingers to make sure there were no bones. Hopefully there are no bones. It is 8.30 a.m. and Boo says he wants to watch some chipmunks today and here's Simba. Hello Simba. So I set up two scratch and rolls in front of the television and I'm going to put some chipmunks on the TV for Boo. And yesterday Boo spent hours watching the chipmunks 
right Simba? Good morning Simba. And um, Simba says yesterday was fish day and he really enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. You're welcome Simba. And um, so what I was saying was Boo spent hours yesterday just watching chipmunk videos. He loves chipmunks. He loves them. So um, I'm going to put some on the TV for him now so he can watch them again. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. It's okay, Simba. It's okay. It's okay. Boo's trying to be nice to you, okay? These are the um, sticky paws on the side of this chair. It's definitely helped protect the chair. And um, yeah, that's what it looks like after they've been on there for a while. I just put the chipmunks on and look at Boo. He's already engrossed in them. Oh, now there's a bird. I don't know if this is the 100% chipmunks video. Maybe this is just a general nature video. It's about 4 p.m. right now, and there's Hydrox. And Hydrox looks really good. Look how nice his fur looks. He looks really good. And Hydrox has a message for all of the haters out there. He says he wants me to tell everyone, how do you like me now? Right, Hydrox? He's meowing for some food. Hydrox, we're not eating yet. We'll eat soon, okay? We're gonna eat soon, okay, Hydrox? I'm in the middle of putting away the Halloween decorations and organizing the garage and we'll eat before it gets dark, okay? Okay. See how nice he looks? Hydrox, what's your message? Hydrox says, how do you like me now? Meanwhile, this is what the patio looks like today. It's just leaves, covered in leaves. This is the side of the house. Look at that, it is just leaves, nothing but leaves. And these are the water bowls. I have to empty them out. They're just full of leaves. Good morning, Boo. It is around 9 a.m. And the cats are relaxing. They're watching some bird videos on TV. Here's Simba. Simba says, don't forget about him. Good morning, Simba. How you doing? Good morning, Stella. How are you today? Simba said he is going to help me open some mail. Right, Simba? So let's open some mail, Simba. What's this? It's an envelope. It's from your friend Carlos. It's from your buddy Carlos. This one is from Carlos DeLuca. What'd you get, Simba? What'd you get? Look, Simba, look. You got a glass and lens wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's another envelope, and this one arrived open. Sometimes the mail's a little rough. Look what we got, Simba. We got some post-it notes. Simba says he's going to go look for a pom-pom. We'll open the mail with Boo. Boo's butt. Okay, Boo. Here's another envelope. Let's see what's in here. It's post-it notes. Thank you very much, Carlos. Could always use some post-it notes. And here's another envelope. And we got a glass and lens wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's another envelope from Carlos. And look what we got. We got another glass and lens wipe. I thought Boo would turn around, but he's too engrossed in the black squirrel. He's watching a black squirrel on the TV. Okay, Boo. Okay. So the cat's got a, an envelope. This looks like a card. Oh, look at that. Look how cute. Look, it looks like Simba dressed up like a pilgrim. You see that? That's so cute. This says, no animals were harmed in the making of this Thanksgiving Day card. One cat, however, was made to feel like a complete idiot. Ha <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Stella Boo, Simba Splash, Hydrox Ditto, LF Grandma and Grandpa Feral. Hugs and kisses from Zoa and Marty. Thank you so much, Zoa and Marty, for this adorable card. I'm going to put it on the mantle. And here's a package. It says, Happy Thanksgiving. But look. Look at the letters. They're all cats. 
Look, every letter is cats. Happy. Look at all the cats. Look. These are such cute stickers. I've never seen these before. So many cats. Happy Thanksgiving. And this is from Zoa. And this is a book. It is called Thanksgiving Cats. Look at this. It says the neighbor's kids were having a little yard sale and I seen this book and thought it would be a fun book to read to the cats. Yeah, I never saw this book before. Check it out. Thanksgiving Cats. We'll have to do a story time, boo. We'll do a Thanksgiving cat story time. Thank you so much, Zoa, for thinking of us. And here's another envelope. Look at Boo. He's exhausted. This says, haven't been able to give you much this year due to circumstance, but now I can give you some gifts for the holidays. First, something for you, EV. Thank you very much. And this is a gift card to Whole Foods. $25 to Whole Foods. This will definitely be put to good use. They're actually renovating the Whole Foods around here. I was in there the other day and it's just a giant mess. They're moving everything around, but I'll definitely be there again, and uh, I will happily spend this. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, Boo's scared of the package. How about you, Stella? You gonna help me? You gonna open this? You wanna open it? Stella's the brave one. If there's a brave cat in the house, it's Stella. All the boys are scaredy cats. Right, Stella? What'd you get, Stella? What'd you get? Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Look what you got, Stella. Look. Look at it all. Look at everything. This says, a black light to find hidden presents the cats have left around the house. H. Well, that's a good idea. Some dragonflies for Boo to pull the wings off of. A.S. Some batteries to keep the lights on and cameras rolling. I.L. Check this out. It is a bag of dragonflies. That is awesome. I need to give Boo a new dragonfly because the one we're currently using has no wings, so he's going to enjoy that. Maybe Stella likes them in the bag. She sees the pink. She, she likes this one. Stella, you want the pink one? You want the pink one? You want one? You want this one with the pink? You want that one? And here we have a box of batteries. These are C-cell batteries, and uh, these are the batteries for the automatic feeders. I like to keep a backup of these batteries on hand, so now I am set with lots of batteries. Thank you. So he's chasing his pom-pom around. And what's this? This is a UV LED flashlight. UV black light. Very cool. I've never had one of these before. Other than the little one on the uh, on the laser pointer. Okay, I just put the batteries in the flashlight. Let's turn it on. Wow, you could find like hidden things in the rug. Look at this. It's like a piece of uh, cardboard that blended in. Here's Simba. <laughs> Let's look at Simba. How you looking, Simba? You look okay? Here's a dragonflies. 
I don't know if you could see it, but their eyes glow. They totally glow. This is so cool. I'll definitely be using this around the house and probably even outside. So thank you very much. It's 8 p.m. And I got the camera because I wanted to show you Simba and what was going on here. So I walked in the room I'm looking for my iPad and I turned the light on and Splash is laying on the bed. But I heard a cat snoring and I was like, where's that coming from? So I looked up here and I looked at the penthouse and Simba was sleeping in the penthouse but his arms or his legs were like sticking out because you know Simba likes to sleep in strange positions. So I said, oh my gosh, that is so cute. So I went to the kitchen because that's where the camera was. And by the time I got back, here's Simba. He woke up. So the cats have been taking a nap all afternoon and they're just starting to get up now. So that's why. He woke up and here's Splash. How you doing, Splash? Splash, you're such a handsome boy. You're so handsome, Splash. How you doing, Splashy? Sometimes Splash gets a very far away look in his eye. I'm like, what's he looking at her? What's he thinking about? How you doing, Splashy? Splash, you're so cute. You're so cute, Splash. You have such nice eyes. Doesn't Splash have beautiful eyes? And Splash has... An awesome nose. Splash, you have the cutest nose. You have the cutest nose. Splash, you have like a human nose. Do you know that? You're a cat that has like a human nose. Yeah. You're a human. You're part human, Splash. Splash. Splash, you are full of personality. You are Mr. Personality, right, Splash? This is Boo's Dragonfly toy. It's a wand toy. And I just figured out that I could actually put the wand in the back of the chair like this. And Boo goes crazy over it. So the chair cushion fits really tightly in this chair. And when Boo puts the dragonfly in his mouth, and tries to carry it off, it snaps back. And then Boo jumps back in the chair and tries to get it. Now I should also mention that last night, Simba chewed the string in half. It's like fishing line uh, that that this toy is attached to. Yeah, Simba chewed it in half, so I had to tie it back together. This is great so far because it's keeping Boo entertained. And that's the whole point. To keep him entertained while I get some work done today.
It's about 2 p.m. right now, and I'm here with Boo and his dragonfly. We were just playing on the bed together. And I wanted to tell you what Simba did this morning. So I was having some playtime with the cats this morning with the dragonfly. And Simba tried to chew the string again. He tried to chew the fishing wire. But thankfully, I caught him in time, so he couldn't do it. But then I realized why. Right, Boo? So Simba likes chewing the fishing wire because... You know, he likes to reverse engineer everything and he likes to figure out how things work. And Simba knows that the dragonfly works because of the fishing wire. And for him to really get the dragonfly, he has to chew through the fishing wire. So that's why Simba chews through the fishing wire because he's too smart for these toys. And that's why he likes pom-poms. See, there's the fishing wire right now. You can see it. But see, Boo's happy. Boo's happy to play with the dragonfly at the end of the fishing wire, but Simba says, I'm just going to break the fishing wire and then, then the dragonfly is all mine. So. Who's laying on the wand? He's laying on the fishing pole part of it. Alright. You just gonna hang out there? I can't move it. He's like way on it. Okay, boo, I gotta go. I gotta go. You gonna stay here with the dragonfly? You want me to leave it here with you? Leave it here with you? Okay? The sooner I go, the sooner I come back. Okay? So I'm gonna go. The other thing I should mention was there was another really big fight yesterday between Boo and Stella and Simba. It seems like Boo just attacks them for no reason. Like we're in Boo's room and I was moving some furniture around in there or I have been moving furniture around in there and I was sitting on the day sofa and Stella was coming into the room just to say hello and see what was going on and the next thing I know who came chasing her and uh, he chased her under the day sofa and started attacking her and she was like growling and hissing and spitting and it was a pretty big fight I had to break it up and the problem was when I was yelling at them to break it up like stop fighting they just kept going it was like Boo was in like attack mode he didn't even like hear what I was saying and um what I realized is that I need to have more playtime with Boo because that'll kind of get get rid of his hunting energy and his attacking energy. That way he won't attack the other cats as much, if at all. Right, Boo? The problem is, like, Boo could sit here and attack this dragonfly for hours. And I gotta get going, Boo. I gotta go to work. I gotta go to the office, Boo. All right, Boo. Okay, Boo, I'll see you later. I'll leave you here with the dragonfly, okay? Don't chew its, don't chew the wings off, okay? It's 3.15 p.m. 
and Hydrox is sleeping in the cat shelter by the window. I just got home and I was looking in there and I was like, I see something dark, is that a cat? And sure enough, it's Hydrox because he, he picked his face up and I was able to see him. Can you see him in there? That dark, that dark blob is Hydrox. It's about 11 p.m. right now and I'm here with the cats and they're having some crunchies. And I don't think I filmed anything today. I have not been filming as much recently because I'm trying to catch up. Uh, right now, I think I'm uh, somewhere between two to three weeks behind from when I film the videos to when I post the videos. And I want to catch that up a little bit. So I've been cutting back on the amount I've been filming. And we'll see how that goes. So today I was outside uh, raking leaves on the patio and Hydrox hung out with me. Like he was just hanging out watching me and um, he was kind of interested in what I was doing. And he's been hanging out by the back door. I gave him some dinner and he had some dinner there. And thankfully the weather was warmer today. So it was probably around 55 degrees, 60 degrees. Um, and so it's a lot warmer than... Uh, 30 degrees like it was uh, the other day so that's good and today's fish day for the cats so they had fish for breakfast and then they had some cooked haddock for dinner and that is their favorite meal right now when I cook them fresh fish they absolutely love it like Boo goes running down the stairs it's the only time I've ever seen him do that and all four of these cats just dig into their into their meal so that's what they had uh, for dinner and i uh, make sure that i crumble it up or flake it with my fingers to make sure there are no bones in it and um so that's what they got i think what i'm gonna do moving forward is keep that as their holiday meal like their special occasion meal uh, because they do love it so much and it's it's always nice to kind of set aside a special meal uh, for the cats for like holidays and special occasions. And I used to do that with their sardines, like the tiki cat sardines, but they really enjoy the uh, fresh cooked fish much more than anything in a can. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And so, yeah, so that was today. Oh, and something else that happened today was this morning I was walking down the hall and I found some vomit on the new runner and it was pretty much all undigested crunchies and I blame Boo because yesterday when I gave the cat some crunchies he ate so fast. I was like, boo, don't eat that fast. You're going to get sick. And I knew it was going to happen. And basically, it must have happened very soon after eating them because they looked completely undigested. It really just looked like a pile of crunchies on the rug. And I, there's no way that those crunchies would get there other than a cat vomiting them. So uh, I feel pretty confident that I can blame Boo on that just because he was eating them like a madman. Um, so that wasn't fun. I had to clean that up this morning. It's 8 a.m. Good morning, Simba. How are you today? I thought we'd check on the cats to see what they're doing. Some people have morning cats that like to wake up early. These cats are not morning cats, so I thought I'd show you what they're up to right now. Simba's relaxing in the cat tower, and Stella's sleeping in this cat tower. Here's Boo. Boo's relaxing on top of this cat tower. And here's Splash. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's hunting some kind of bug. What are you doing, Splash? It's 3.38 p.m. right now, and look at the new doormats I got. So this one says, one cat short of crazy. And look, this one reminds me of Hydrox, and that one looks like Boo. So I think I'll put this by the back door. 
And the brand on this is Whiskers and Tails. And I got this at Christmas tree shops. I think it was around six or seven dollars. It's been in my car for a few weeks and I keep meaning to put it out, but I'm gonna do that today. And here's the other one. This says Meow, Hello, and Cat. And I'm gonna put this by the front door. And I thought this was really cute also. Look at this, I put it down not even a minute ago. And Hydrox is already sitting on it. He's sitting right near the cat that looks like him. Well, it looks a little bit like him. Hydrox has unique marking, so you're never going to see a cat that looks exactly like him. But uh, he likes it. Hydrox says he likes it a lot. Here's the other one. I'm putting it by the front door. It's 10.20 a.m. And Stella wants to lay on the day sofa in Boo's room and watch videos on the tablet. Right now she's watching some earthworms. She was facing the tablet until he turned the camera on. Okay, Stella. It is 9.17 a.m. And I just opened the back door. And there are two wet cats here. Here's Hydrox and Ditto. And it's been raining all night. It's a rainy day today. It's supposed to rain all day. Right now it looks like the rain has stopped for a while. And there's Hydrox and Ditto, so I'm going to put some food together for them. I'm going to give them some canned food. There's dry food in the automatic feeder. Uh-oh. Oh no, that's just wind. I thought that was rain coming. So let me put their food together and uh, give it to them. I just gave them each a plate of food which is what Ditto is looking at now. And Hydrox had the nerve to turn his nose up at it and then walk to the automatic feeder. Okay, now he's back. He's looking around. There's another plate up here, Hydrox. I don't put their food right next to each other because sometimes they don't like eating right next to each other. So what are they, what are they fussy today? They don't want the food? They're just looking at it. I mean, I'll put some crunchies on it and maybe they'll eat it. There goes Ditto. Ditto's eating his food. Hydrox is still meowing. Hydrox, there's food up here. He'll come and get it. Look how dirty Ditto's paws are. I mean, he's just full of mud. Ditto's a lot like Boo. He has the same meow, and it looks like he has the same food preferences. He's pretty much eating the crunchies and not eating the canned food. Now, they normally like this canned food, um, but I did not mix in any warm water or broth or anything. I just put it from the can on the plate today, so maybe that's why they don't want it. It's not cold. It was not in the refrigerator. It's room temperature. Yeah, he's just... He's eating the uh, the dry food. Okay, so that's what's going on with Hydrox and Ditto today. The inside cats just finished their breakfast. They didn't really eat much of their breakfast either. They had the Primal Raw Duck Nuggets, which I thought they would like those since they like raw duck, but for some reason they don't like those. They prefer the rabbit nuggets. Out of all the Primal Raw uh, Nuggets, they definitely prefer the rabbit ones. I'm here with Simba and Stella and it is mail time the cat's got a whole bunch of mail so let's open this mail and let's see what they got there's a bunch of envelopes here from Carlos de Luca let's see what Carlos sent Carlos sent us a glass and lens wipe thank you very much Carlos and here's another envelope from Carlos And this is another glass and lens wipe. Thank you very much. And here's another envelope from Carlos. And Carlos sent the cats a dollar. Thank you so much, Carlos. I will be buying some treats for the cats with this dollar. And here's another envelope. And Carlos sent us some band-aids. Band-Aids always come in handy. Thank you very much, Carlos. 
And here's another envelope. And we have a glass and lens wipe. Carlos wants to make sure that all of my glasses and my lenses are very clean. It says for use on glasses, phones, and computer screens. What's in this one? And we have another glass and lens wipe. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here we have some post-it notes. Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's another Band-Aid. I'll put this in my Band-Aid collection. Carlos wants to make sure that we are clean and we stay healthy. And here's another glass and lens wipe. This is from Carlos. What do we have here? This is also from Carlos. And Carlos sent some stamps. Here's a stamp from the Netherlands and a stamp from the United States, an eight cent stamp. Here's a card and a pretty envelope, and this is from Eileen. Look at the butterfly, it says thank you. And thank you, Eileen, for your donation. It says how radiant the day that is touched by your kindness. I will put this donation aside for the cats and use it the next time I go to buy cat supplies. Thank you very much. And this is an envelope from Nicole LaRue. Look at the little snowman with the birds. It says, warmest Christmas wishes from Canada. Isn't that cool? And then on the bottom it says, friends who come near your house. Yeah, that looks like the raccoons and that looks like uh, some of uh, the possums or the groundhogs that come around. Um, I don't know what this is, a fox or a wolf. I don't have any of those. And thankfully, I've not seen any bears around here yet. That's a really cute card. Thank you very much, Nicole, for your generous donation. Uh, this says, hope every little thing that makes you happy will be part of your world this Christmas. Have a marvelous period of time with all your family and your cats. I am waiting for your videos that I don't miss any episodes. Well, thank you so much, Nicole, for watching for watching the videos. It says, hi, dear Lady LF and Grandma and Grandpa and Stella Splash, Simba Boo, and Hydrox Ditto. Hope everyone is in good health. Will you reunite with Grandma and Grandpa at Christmas or during the holidays? Um, yes, everyone is in good health, um, and yes, I will be seeing them during the holidays. Sorry to be so far away, maybe I could take care of your cats, they are so adorable. I would like to put my hand in their fur. At Christmas, I will be back at my home and perhaps I will have a new cat, I hope so. Well, that would be really nice, Nicole, if you had a new cat, that would be awesome. This year, there is no 30-pound turkey for the supper. Only two or max three persons will be invited. It will be slowed down a little bit, but we will sing along all the Christmas songs. Thank you very much, Nicole, for this card and your generous donation, and I hope you have a very happy holiday season. And here's an envelope. This is from Zoa. Let's see what Zoa sent the cat. Look how cute this is. Look, it's a little turkey leg. Turkey legs for the cats. They each got a turkey leg. Four turkey legs. That is so cute. The cats are going to enjoy these a lot. It says to Stella Boo Simba Splash, hope you enjoy your turkey legs. Hugs and kisses from Zoa and Marty. Thank you so much, Zoa. These are so cute. The cats are definitely going to enjoy these. And we have one more package here. This does not say who it's from. This says, enjoy your gift to you and your gang. Season's greetings from Susan Duquette. And this says, enjoy your gift. All the best to you and the gang from Susan Duquette. Thank you so much, Susan. 
and we have a gift card to Whole Foods, which is awesome. Thank you so much. There's always something that I can use in Whole Foods, whether it's for me or for the cats. This is definitely appreciated. And here is a Visa gift card. Again, thank you so much. This will be used for cat supplies or toward channel supplies. Sometimes I need to buy some new SD cards or camera equipment, so this will be great for that. Thank you so much, Susan, for thinking about us and for your gifts. It is 8.48 a.m. and it's about 45 degrees out and it's pretty cold out. And Hydrox just had two scoops of homemade raw food with some warm water mixed in. And he finished that and he was meowing like crazy. I was like, Okay, I'll give you some more food. So I just gave him a package of Sheba that I had downstairs. It was some of the food that was sent to the cats. So I went outside to give him the food and like he basically came up to me at the plate and was meowing at me at the plate. I mean, look how hungry this cat is. It's crazy. Um, we're, we're not supposed to get any rain or bad weather. Um, but we have had some, so maybe he's making up for lost time right now, but uh, I was very surprised that uh, he came right up to me, right up to the plate as I was putting the food on the plate. That was definitely a first for Hijax. Uh, normally he'll stand like a few feet away, but no, he was like ready to eat it as I was putting it on the plate. So let's see what he does is he gonna want more food after eating all this food I mean he had two big scoops of homemade food that plate was full and now this is one of the pouches um, and he's eating it okay Hydrox wants some more food so let's see if he'll do it again okay I'm gonna give him some food. Let's see if he comes up to the plate while I'm giving him the food. I won't disturb him, but did you see? He came right up to the plate while I was giving him food. He's very hungry today. Maybe because it got really cold? The weather's really starting to, you know, get cold for winter. It's 12 p.m. Look at what's going on here. Three cats are laying on the bed together. And there's Splash. He's on the cat tower. Stella, crunchy Stella. Come on Stella, crunchies. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. I'm here with Boo, and Simba, and Stella, and it is mail time. The cat's got a whole bunch of mail. We're going to open it. Simba's rubbing up against it. Okay, Simba. We're gonna start mail time with some envelopes from Carlos de Luca. I wonder what Carlos sent. Let's see. What'd we get, Simba? 
What did we get from Carlos? This is what we got. What is this? It looks like a plastic bag. I think the cat's got a plastic bag. Maybe I could scoop their litter into this. Maybe this is a litter bag. Thank you very much, Carlos. Okay, let's open up another envelope. You gonna help me, Simba? Simba says he's gonna help. Okay, Simba, you help. Ready? We got a glass and lens wipe, and Simba says thank you very much. All right, what else do we get, Simba? Simba says I can open this one. He gives his approval. What'd you get, Simba? Look, Simba, you got another glass and lens wipe. Simba says thank you very much. Simba approves. Here's another envelope. Stella, you gonna help me? You gonna help me, Stella? Okay, Stella says she approves. Stella approves of the mail. And we got a glass and lens wipe. Here comes Boo. Boo said he's gonna check it out. Okay, what'd we get here? What'd we get, Simba? We got a Band-Aid. Stella says, thank you very much for the Band-Aid. Okay, Simba, what do we get in this one? What's in here, Simba? We got a glass and lens wipe. Don't eat it, Simba, don't eat it. Eat it. Don't eat it, Simba. And we got a necklace, look at that. A necklace with two stars. Don't eat it, Simba. It's a necklace with two stars on it. Isn't that nice? Thank you very much, Carlos. A splash came by to see what's going on. Carlos likes to make sure that the cats always have some kind of mail to open. Right, Splash? Splash is right. And here's a package. And this package is from Jada. Which gets Simba? This says, Hi Lucky Ferals, my name is Jada Rosado. I am one of the Lucky Ferals winner. Thank you for the prizes I got for you and the cat's gifts. Hope you and the cats like them. I have a stray cat that lives in my backyard. His name is Boots. I am starting to pet him now. My mom said maybe by the end of this year we can take him to the vet. Then he is going to be our pet cat. That is so awesome. I am 11 years old. I love your videos. Can you tell Stella, Splash, Simba, Boo, Hydrox, and Ditto that I said hi? Hope you and the cats like the gifts from Jada Rosado. Well, thank you, Jada. Stella, Jada says hello. Stella says hello right back. Hey, Splash, Jada says hello. Splash says, hello, Jada. Boo, Jada says, hello. Boo says, hello, Jada. Simba, Jada says, hello to you. Simba says, that's very nice. Hello, Jada. Stella's checking out the package. What you get, Stella? Look, look what you got. You got some Blue Wilderness cat treats, chicken and salmon recipe. You love these. Stella's ready to eat them. Eat the bag and everything. Thank you very much. Simba's smelling and look at this, look. It's a little rat toy. You checking it out, Simba? Now Ratty has a friend, look at this. Stella's ready to play with it. Stella. Yep, see, she loves those tails. And we also got some hand sanitizer, isn't that nice? I was just looking for some not even an hour ago. Uh, I was out running some errands and I needed some and I didn't have any with me, but look, now I have some. So thank you very much for these awesome goodies. Here's another package and this is from Carlos DeLuca.
Oh, look, Stella, look, we got a piece of art. This is a camel. A camel with pom-poms. Guess who loves pom-poms? Simba loves pom-poms. Let's open this up. Maybe Simba might try to eat the pom-poms off of it. I hope not. Isn't that cute? And this goes like this. And you could put that on a shelf. Or you could put it on like a table. It's a little piece of decorative art. And Simba's going to love it because he loves pom-poms. So thank you very much, Carlos. And we have another envelope to open. And this is from Brian. And there's a piece of paper here and it says cats age in years and human age. So Stella is five, which that means she's 36. And the other cats and Splash and Simba are four, so Splash and Simba are four, and that means they are 32. That's kind of scary when you think about it that way. Splash and Simba are 32, and Stella and Boo are 36. They're actually a little bit older because that would be like another half year, so that would be like 34 and 38. Wow, they're old. And look what we got. We got a whole bunch of pom-poms. These are awesome. Simba is going to really enjoy these pom-poms. Thank you very much. And we have a card here. It says, Season's Greetings. Isn't that nice with the deer in the snow? Sending warm winter wishes this holiday season. Hey, LF, always love your videos. Just wanted to wish you and the cats a Merry Christmas. Simba reminds me so much of the cat my Nana had mischief. Brian, YouTuber named Stroker Ace. Thank you so much, Brian, for this season's greetings, the holiday card, the pom-poms, and the list of cat ages. It was really nice of you to think of us. And the cats have a box. Let's see what this is. I think I know who this is from. And we'll see if I'm right. Hopefully there's a note inside. What do we have in here? Look. Here's a box of Inaba Churu. And this is tuna with salmon recipe. And these are like squeeze ups, I believe. Let's open this. Yeah, check it out. Tuna with salmon recipe. Unique creamy treat. I don't think the cats have ever had these. Thank you so much. And here's another box of Inaba Churu. And this is chicken with shrimp flavor. I think Simba's really gonna like these. And Stella has decided to eat the box. Stella, you don't need to eat the box. And here's a bag of chicken recipe and chicken with scallop recipe churros. The cats are gonna have fun trying these. And here is a package of tuna and tuna with scallop churros. Wow, the cats are set. Look at all of these different kinds of churros. They're gonna have fun trying these and these are gonna make a nice holiday treat, so. I'm gonna whisper because I don't want the cats to hear me because it's gonna be a surprise for them, but they're getting an advent calendar this year that I'm putting together for them. And I think I'm gonna put these in the advent calendar for them. I don't want them to hear what I'm saying right now because I want it to be a surprise. But that's how they're gonna try these for the first time. They're gonna try them as part of their advent calendar. So thank you very much. And look who's eavesdropping on me. Stella, did you hear what I was saying? I hope you didn't hear anything that I was saying. And these are from Bad Billy. It says, time for some squeeze-ups, but a new brand. 89%, five stars. Interesting flavor combo. Single flavors, too. Happy Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Thank you so much, Bad Billy, for these awesome squeeze-ups or churus. And... They look really interesting, and I can't wait for the cats to try them. We hope you have a happy Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, too. Somebody you like the pom-poms?
It's 5 p.m. and Grandma's here making chicken for Ditto and Hydrox. This is going to be their dinner. They're going to have dark meat. Yeah, the poor things are meowing out there. They love it. They're so hungry. What do they have for breakfast? Turkey. You give them turkey for breakfast? Yes, and they loved it. Yeah, but the inside cats won't eat it. I know, but the outside ones, they just love it. Ditto and, and Hydrox. Ditto and Hydrox are crazy about it. They love it. Eat Hydrox! Hydrox is having some turkey for dinner. They're having some of the dark meat. And there's Ditto. Ditto's having some turkey for dinner also. Come on. Stella, where are you, Stella? Stella not coming. Stella, crunchy Stella. Come on, Stella, crunchies. No, Stella. Must be sleeping. Simba, you need to finish your own, Simba. Stella here. Simba, yours over here, Simba. You got yours over here. That's it, no more. Just bowl it to you. Hey Stella, what are you doing? Stella, what are you doing, Stella? Stella's sitting there waiting for crunchies. They've already had their crunchies, but she's going to sit by that plate. Cause she's going to hope she's going to get some more. Nothing will get her to move. It is 4.59 p.m. and there's Hydrox and Ditto. Ditto just came by and Hydrox was meowing at him so I gave them both some food. They're having half a plate of leftover turkey from Thanksgiving, the dark meat, and they're having half a plate of some canned food. What I did was I warmed up some turkey broth and I mix that into the canned food. And that's what they have. So their food's nice and warm. It is a bit cold out. I was outside working on some Christmas decorations around the yard. I have not decorated Hydrox's shelter because he's not using it. Maybe if he uses it, then I'll decorate it, but I'm not gonna decorate it for it to be empty. So that's where that stands right now. He's actually been using the custom shelter under the house more than the one that he used last year, which is the one in the doghouse. The shelter under the house stays warmer than the other one because it is sheltered by the house on 
like three or four sides, like four sides if you consider um, the ground underneath it. The top of it is sheltered, the back of it is sheltered, and then one of the sides is sheltered. So um, it stays warmer than the other one. Although the other one I think gets more sunlight during the day. I could be wrong though. And so that's the situation. Hydrox really likes the new window in the custom shelter under the house, so I think that's why he's been using it. Um, so Ditto walked away from his plate of food. I don't know if he ate already or what the situation is. I just put a bunch of fresh water outside in the heated water bowls, and there's also dry food in the automatic feeder. So that's a lot of food for the cats. It is 8.50 a.m. and here's Simba. He's watching TV. Here's Stella, she's watching TV. And here's Boo, he's watching TV. The music that you hear in the background is from the video. The cats are watching dogs. I discovered this today. I was watching a yoga video. There was a dog in the yoga video and Boo was just mesmerized by it. So I just put on a video of dogs for them to watch and they love it. They're like transfixed by these dogs. Look at Stella. They don't want to take their eyes off of them. See Boo? He loves watching dogs. Hydrox and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Let's see how Boo's gonna react to the squirrel. Boo, did you like the squirrel? You want him to sing to you? No? Here's Simba in the penthouse. Simba, you like the squirrel? Here. Simba's hanging out with the toys. Here's Stella and Splash, they're downstairs. I'm gonna put the squirrel in the middle. Splash is gonna hiss. Is he gonna hiss? Okay, Stella. Stella, you wanna check out the squirrel? You wanna put it next to you over here? Here. You wanna see the squirrel? See it? You wanna check it out? Okay, check it out. Ready?
Stella, did you like that? You want to hear him sing again? Here, he could sing for you again. Did you like that, Stella? Simba just came running down the stairs to see what was going on. Okay, one more time. Ready? What do you see? Splash running upstairs? Ready, Stella, look. It's me, Merry Christmas. Let me know you care. Just a word or two of text from you will remind me you're still there. You don't have to add much to it. One smiley face will do. Baby, text me Merry Christmas. Cause I'm missing kids. Look what the cats got for Christmas from their grandparents. Oh my gosh, look at this giant basket of gifts. Splash says, is that for me? Yeah, Splash, that's for you. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. That's for you and your brother and your mother and your daddy. Look at the tag, isn't that cute? Look at all the cats. It says to Stella, Boo, Simba, Splash, and Hydrox, Merry Christmas, love and kisses, Grandma and Grandpa. Stella came over to say thank you. Stella says, thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. She can't wait to see what's inside of it. Let's open this up and see what's inside. The cats don't really like all this crinkly noise. Look, Stella, look. Stella, look. Stella says, wow, these are all for me? Oh my gosh, what can they be? Look at this, Stella, look. Look at all the wrapping paper. All the wrapping paper has cats all over it. What is it, Stella? What'd you get? You got a bottle of Bench and Field treats. The cats love these treats and they haven't had them in a while. That is awesome. What'd you get here, Stella? What is it? These are wrapped really well. You guys got a can of Tiki Cat sardine cutlets in sardine consomme. What'd you get here? What's in here? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. What is this? Is this a chipmunk? Oh my gosh, and Boo just came over. Boo says, is that a chipmunk? If that's a chipmunk, that's for me. Boo, is that a chipmunk? Is this your chipmunk? Boo, you want the chipmunk? I'm a chipmunk. I'm a chipmunk. I'm a chipmunk for Boo. I'm a chipmunk for Boo. Boo, that's your chipmunk. That's the one that got away. It came back. Hello, Boo. Hello, Boo. I'm your chipmunk. Boo says, thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. What's this? What's this, Stella? It's a can of Trader Joe's Turkey and Giblets Dinner. And what's this, Stella? What'd you get? Where's Simba? He loves the fish. You 
You guys got a can of Tiki Cat sardine cutlets and lobster consomme. What's this? What is this? What do you think this is, Stella? You guys got some paper plates. What's this? What's this gonna be? Oh, look at this. Look at this. This must be for Simba. It says Crafty Cat Playful Palm Hedgehog. And look, it has pom-poms. And look who just sat down here. Simba, look. Look at that, Simba. It has pom-poms. You like it? Look. Look. It has pom-poms. You see the pom-poms? Oh, he's going crazy over the pom-poms. Okay, let me take it off the backing. Let me get scissors and take this off the backing, okay? Okay, let me let me get this for you, okay? I'll I'll get it out for you. Simba, I want to cut the tag off. There. Well, Simba loves this toy. He absolutely loves it. Oh, and it's a crinkle toy. It's a catnip crinkle toy with pom-poms. Simba says, thank you. Thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. He says, that's his best toy ever. All right, guys, ready? Let's open some more. Let's open some more. Now I got two. Two people in the audience over here. Stella and Boo are watching me. All right, now we got three people in the audience. Let's open this. What'd you guys get? You guys got a can of Tiki Cat mackerel and sardines in calamari consomme. Isn't that nice? Okay, what else did we get? What's this? What's in here? What do you think's in here? Oh, look at this. It's another chipmunk toy. Who wants this chipmunk? Stella, you want the chipmunk? Is that your chipmunk? There's your chipmunk, Stella. Now you have a chipmunk and Boo has a chipmunk. What's this? What's in here, guys? What is this? Oh, look at this. Pure Bites Freeze-Dried Minnows. Simba, this is your favorite. Simba says he loves freeze-dried minnows. Uh-oh, Stella, you knocked your chipmunk over. 
You gonna get the chipmunk? Oh, she's gonna get it. Oh no, she's gonna let it sit there. Okay. Okay, what's in this? These are wrapped really, really well. They're almost hard to open. They are hard to open, actually. Oh my gosh. This is industrial strength wrapping paper. The cat's got a can of tiki cut mackerel and sardines and calamari consomme. Okay, Simba has decided he needs to go play. And the cat's got another can of tiki cat mackerel and sardines. And the cat's got another can of Tiki Cat sardine cutlets. And what'd you get here? What'd you guys get? guys got a bottle of Bench and Field treats. They're watching Splash in the hallway. Splash is on patrol right now. He's guarding everyone. And you guys got another bottle of Bench and Field treats. I need to get a wide angle lens to be able to fit all the cats on the camera at the same time. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's another chipmunk. It's a chipmunk for Splash. I put the chipmunk on Splash's scratch and roll. Look what we got, guys, look. Look at this. What is this? It's another bottle of Bench and Field Treats. Wow, look at that. The cats are having a party. Look at all this great stuff you guys got. And what is this? This might be another bottle of Benchy Field Treats, which is great, because then we'll be stocked up. Yep, it's another bottle of Benchy Field Treats. You guys having a good time? Okay, I think this is another bottle of Bench and Field Treats. They're really looking forward to eating all these Bench and Field Treats because they love them. Yep, it's another bottle of Bench and Field Treats. You guys got like six bottles. Six bottles of Bench and Field Treats. Isn't that awesome? And what's this? What you guys getting here? What is this? You guys got a can of Trader Joe's Turkey and Giblets dinner. That's awesome. Grandma and Grandpa are gonna love seeing this video. Look how well behaved the cats are. What's in here? What's in here guys, what'd you get? You got Tiki Cat Sardine Cutlets. That is so awesome. You guys are set for your fish day. Lots of fish, Simba. Lots of fish. Simba's very happy. All the cats love their sardines. And here's another can of Tiki Cut Sardine Cutlets in Sardine Consomme. Simba says, when can he eat those freeze-dried minnows? He says he's gonna eat the bag. Ready? There's another one, only a few presents left, guys. We got so much cool stuff. Got a bunch of chipmunks and a hedgehog. And it's a can of Tiki Cat sardine cutlets. The cats say thank you very much, Grandma and Grandpa. We love all of our presents. What is this? 
What is this? Well, Simba wants to see what else is in there. You looking for something, Simba? He says he's looking for something to open that bag of minnows with. And the cat's got another can of Tiki Cat mackerel and sardines. Where you going, Simba? Sit down in the scratch and roll. Sit down there. Sit down. All right, one more present. One more present. Sit down, Simba, so we could all see the present. Okay, good boy. Good boy. All right, guys, last present. Last present. We got so many cool presents. Here we go. It's a can of Tiki Cat sardine cutlets in sardine consomme. Wow, you guys made out so good. Look at all your awesome Christmas presents from your grandma and your grandpa. Stella, Boo, and Simba say thank you very much, Grandma and Grandpa. They say they can't wait till you visit them again and give them crunchies. And Splash is off on patrol. black cat in the yard. It looks so much like Boo. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.45 a.m. Good morning, Stella. I woke up this morning and I said good morning to all of the cats and I couldn't find Stella. I was like, where's Stella? And then I took a shower and then I just got out of the shower and Stella was on top of the armoire. She must have been sleeping in the penthouse. Right, Stella? That's Stella's favorite place to sleep now. She slept there for like the past two or three days in a row. I think she likes it because it's like a getaway and no one could bother her. Right, Stella? It's 10.45 a.m. and Hydrox and Ditto just had some breakfast. I had to run some errands this morning and I just got back. So 
as soon as I got back, I fed the inside cats, and then I fed Hydrox and Ditto, and they had a can and a half of food, and Hydrox is still looking for more. Look at this. All right, I'm gonna have to go give him some more food. It's 7.25 p.m. right now, and I gave Hydrox some turkey for dinner. I don't know why he's not eating it, because he really likes it. So here's Hydrox, he's hanging out on the patio. That wire is from one of the webcams that are out here facing the shelter. Um, you know, if he goes in the shelter, I could throw a live stream on, but he hasn't been using the shelter, so. Um, it's really cold right now. It was pretty warm today, and then the temperature all of a sudden dropped. I don't know what's going on. And this is why I'm outside right now. That's the greenhouse, and there should be lights on inside of the greenhouse, and I saw that the lights are off, so that means that the outlet has been tripped. So now I have to go and reset the outlet. And I also looked outside. Wow, it is really windy. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. All of a sudden it's so windy. I don't know what's going on. Half of my Christmas decorations are also not lit. So I have to go check that outlet. Now we're lit again. And there's the greenhouse. The greenhouse is lit also. I had to unplug both of the power cords, the power cord going to the backyard and the power cord and the power cord going to the front yard. And I plugged the one going to the backyard back in and it went on. So then I checked all of the connections on the front yard, made a few adjustments and plugged that back in and then it went back on also. It's about midnight right now. I'm just about to go to bed and turn off the tree. It looks really nice. It is so windy outside. I keep hearing things hitting the house. Here's Stella and Splash there, laying by the tree. Stella's laying on a crunchy plate. It's 8.18 a.m. Good morning, Simba. It looks like Simba was sleeping in the cat bed under the tree. How are you today, Simba? He looks tired. Oh, good morning, Boo. How are you today, Boo? Good morning, Splash. Did I startle you? You can stay there. You're nice and comfortable, right? This is one of Splash's new favorite places to sleep. He gets a very nice view of the tree from here. He could also look out the window a bit. Good morning, Splash. And here's Stella. Good morning, Stella. Boo is eating some grass this morning. The cats love to eat cat grass and it is very healthy for them. Some people believe that cats only eat cat grass to make themselves vomit. And that is definitely not true. Because these cats love eating cat grass. It is so full of vitamins and minerals and phytochemicals. It's full of B vitamins. And cats love it. And they eat it all the time, not just when they want to vomit. It's a very important part of optimal nutrition for a cat. When these cats were living outside, they would often chew on grass and some plants. And if you don't want your cats chewing on your house plants, you know, give them some cat grass. They crave it. Right, Stella? Now cats are obligate carnivores, which means the majority of their diet should be animal protein. But living in nature, they do chew on plants and eat grass and consume whatever vegetable matter is in the digestive system of their prey. Very nice boys, very nice boys. It's about 12.45 p.m. and here's Hydrox. He's hanging out by the back door. 
and I don't know why he's not in one of the shelters because they're both on they're both warm they're both cozy um, I gave him some canned food which is in his plate um, with the rocks around it I also went outside and I cleaned all the leaves out of the water bowls and I put some fresh water in there and they're still on too so they're keeping the bowls nice and warm and yeah so here's Hijax he's hanging out by the back door it's about 4 p.m. right now and I'm here with Boo and he's on his day sofa and Boo likes to hang out with me so before the cats came into the house this was my home office and I gave it up when Boo came inside when Stella, Splash, and Simba came inside I still had this as a home office but when Boo came inside I kind of surrendered this room to him because you know he had to be quarantined in it and ever since then this has always been like Boo's room or the cat's room and I've reclaimed I've reclaimed this room as my home office I have a smaller desk in it and my computers are now in it and instead of working on my dining room table I can now have my dining room table back as a dining room table and I've made this room uh, a very uh, efficient home office and Boo likes to hang out here with me and he's been laying here on his day sofa all day isn't it cute it has like a Christmassy or winter theme it's very cozy and here's Stella Stella likes to hang out with me also she's been on the cat tower looking out the windows it's a little bit past midnight right now and I'm just about to go to bed and look at Simba he's sleeping in the round cat bed under the tree let's see if anyone's in the other round cat bed under the tree look who it is it's Stella Stella's in the other round cat bed and Splash was meowing at me before so I think I need to go get the other round cat beds and put them under the tree also. I just brought the two other beds up from downstairs. There are now four cat beds under this tree. We'll see if anyone uses them. It's 8 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept here on the sofa all night. Good morning, Stella. Stella slept here under the tree all night. It looks like she doesn't want to get up. She's still tired. Good morning, Simba. Simba's watching birds. How are you today, Simba? Good morning, Splash. It's 3.17 p.m. I just got home. I had to go into my office today. And uh, there's like a work emergency, so I had to go deal with that. And... Look who's here, it's Stella. She's laying under the tree. Hello, Stella. And look who else is laying under the tree, it's Simba. Simba says this is his favorite bed under the tree. I'm glad you enjoy it, Simba. And here's Boo, he's laying on the bed. Hey, Boo. All the cats are very tired. They've been napping all day. And there's Splash. Splash is hanging out on top of the cat tower. It's midnight, and I'm just about to go to bed, and this is where Stella's going to sleep. In the round cat bed under the tree. I don't know where the other cats are, but they might end up joining her. It's 9 a.m. Good morning, Simba. Simba slept under the Christmas tree. He just got out of one of the round cat beds, his favorite one, right? Look how fluffy... Simba, you're so fluffy. So last night I set up the security camera facing the tree because I wanted to um, see what the cats do at night. And this is a motion activated security camera. So we'll see, I'll review the footage and we'll see what was caught on it. Good morning, Splash. How are you, Splash? So what I've just realized is that Splash does not like it when I approach him. He only likes it when he approaches me. So, you know, I've been saying he's been kind of 
like the nutty professor where in the morning he's all, you know, geeky and, you know, one way. And then at night, you know, he's the complete other way and he just wants pets and pets and pets. And what I've just realized is that usually in the morning, like I'll be the one that wants to go over to him and pet him. He hasn't like that. That's when he gets, you know, scared. Sometimes he gets hissy. But at night, he's the one that's always coming over to me. He's always like, you know, give me pets, give me pets, give me pets. So that's what's going on with Splash. That's what I just realized. Splash wants things on his own terms. Good morning, Stella. How are you today? I don't know who was running around the house a few hours ago, but they were making a whole lot of noise. I don't know if it was Stella and uh, Simba or Simba and Splash or Splash and Stella. I don't know. It's 8.33 a.m. I just looked out the back door and I saw this. Look, there's a black cat in the yard. It looks so much like Boo. I haven't seen any black cats around in a while. It's so cute. I better go check on Boo and make sure Boo's in the house. I'll be right back. Here's Boo, I just found him. I just came back and the black cat is gone, but there's a big bird over here. Good morning, Simba. It is 7.15 a.m. And I wanted to tell you what happened this morning. So around, around 5 o'clock this morning, maybe like 5.20, I woke up because I heard what sounded like um, a cat running around or cats running around. I thought... Simba and Splash were running around chasing each other. And then I heard all this growling and hissing. Like it was a lot of, it would be like growling and then a hiss. Growling and then a hiss. And I was like, that is really weird. It was a very quiet hiss. And it was growling that would go on for quite a while. And honestly, I thought like, um, I didn't know if it was Splash and Simba, because Splash and Simba normally don't get into arguments like that, where it's like a lot of growling and hissing. So then I thought maybe Stella and Simba. Um, but as it continued to go on, Boo, who was sleeping at the foot of the bed, like he perked his head up and he was like listening. He's like, what's going on? And a cat was in the penthouse. I don't know if it was Stella or Splash. It was one of them because I saw like a flash of white fur um, as they uh, ran out of the penthouse, jumped on this cat tower, and then ran out of the room to see what was going on. So all of the cats were concerned with what was going on. And um, at that point I said, I better go look and see what's going on also. So I grabbed a flashlight and I walked down the hall to find the cats and Simba and Splash were in the living room by the Christmas tree. But what I saw near them was a pom-pom. So it ends up, so it ends up that all that growling and hissing was Simba and a pom-pom. Simba was growling and hissing at a pom-pom. Simba, you're so silly. You're so silly, Simba. Simba, you're a silly boy. Simba, you're a silly boy. Don't bite me, Simba. Don't bite me. Simba, you're so floofy. Simba is so floofy. Here it is. Here's the pom-pom that Simba woke everyone up with. This is the one he was growling and hissing at. I'm surprised it's not a red one. It is 6.42 p.m. and there's Hijax. He came out for dinner. 
I think he's been hanging out in one of the heated shelters because it's been really cold. So yesterday he came out for dinner and he really likes the food from Petco. Uh, the wholehearted pate. So I gave him the liver and chicken yesterday and he devoured it. It is 7.09 p.m. and Hydrox is having the second half of the can of food and that's it. That's what he's getting. That's a lot of food. I also mixed some warm water in this and I told him that's that's all he's getting and go back in his house because it is really cold out again. It's like a winter day today. So right now it's about a week into December but for some reason it does not feel like it's a week into December. I don't know why. Which means winter is actually only about two weeks away, which is kind of kind of crazy. And then it's three months until spring. That's what I'm looking forward to, spring. I hate winter. I'm not a winter person at all. So I'm just going to count, count down until the 21st, which is the solstice, which is the shortest day of the year. And then the days start getting longer again, which I love. I love it when the days start getting longer again. So, we'll see. First, we have to get through all the cold weather. I'm here with Boo and my iPad. Can you see what a greasy mess this screen is? This screen is a total mess. But I have these glass, but Throw it up, throw up here, throw up. Throw it up, throw it up, right here. Right here, throw it up. Right here, throw it up, boo. Right here, boo, come here. Boo, throw it up, throw up the hairball. I'm here with my iPad, and can you see how dirty the screen is on this iPad? This screen is filthy, filthy. But I have a glass and lens wipe, so I'm gonna use this on my iPad, and let's see how it cleans the screen. Here's the dirty screen. Let's see if we could clean it. That's a lot cleaner. There's some spots that need a little bit of scrubbing, a little bit of extra scrubbing. Look how nice and clean that is now. That's awesome. These were great. This is two days in a row that Boo has a giant puffy tail. And I just heard a cat screaming. Stella. Flash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. While I have all of the cats here, we are going to open up some mail. It is mail time. Boo's covered in catnip. He's been rolling around in it. Boo, you gonna help me with the mail? Boo. 
Boo. Boo. You gonna help me with the mail, boo? All right, the cats have a card. with a cute Christmas tree sticker on it. That's a pretty card with the Christmas tree and look at all of the animals. It looks like my yard with the raccoons and the chipmunks and the birds and the squirrels and the deer. The only thing I haven't seen here is a red fox. I'm not sure what this is. Um, I don't know if that's a wolf, but I haven't seen any wolves around here, thankfully. I have seen some bunnies on occasion. Um, oh, and there's a cardinal on the top. But yeah, that looks a, a lot like here. It says, Lucky Mom Bustella Simba Splash Hydrox and Ditto, wishing you all the magic and charm of the Christmas season. From Anne-Marie, Davy, Maggie, Lily, Pixie, Oreo, Johnny, Mario, and Capo de Janeiro. The tree was too deep in the forest for cats to visit, but they wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you very much, uh, Anne-Marie and cats, for this awesome Christmas card. And here's another card, and this came all the way from Greece. Wow, it traveled far to get here. It's sealed really well. Look at that, look how cute, it's like cats, it's like a cutout, and Boo's gonna check it out. Boo wants to smell it. Boo says, what is that? They look like Boo. They look like all the cats, actually. That's really nice. It's like all cut out of the paper. Oh wow, check this out, look! It's like a pop-up card. Look how cute, does this... I don't know if this pops up or this is just part of it. Does this go somewhere? Look at that. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. So that's like a little cat play area. Or is that a sofa? Cats on the sofa. See it? Because this is like a living room. See the living room? Or it's an apartment. Oh, check it out. It's an apartment. So here's like the kitchen. Here's a kitchen sink and a stove. And there's like a table and chairs. And here's like a TV here. And then there's another seating area. This is so cute. Thank you so much for this card. I've never seen one like this. Oh, wait, wait, look. I was like, on this side, the cats are black like Boo. And on this side, one kind of, this one looks like Simba, that one looks like Splash. I just found this note that was in the card and it says, Dear LF, once again, thank you very much for taking care not only the indoor feral cats, but the outdoors visitors as well. I really hope that my card arrives on time. Thank you very much for always sending us Christmas cards. It's very thoughtful of you. I wish you Merry Christmas and an amazing healthy new year. Best regards to Spina, Daddy's Secret Garden. Thank you so much to Spina for this awesome pop-up card and I hope you have a very happy holiday season. Okay, here's another card. Look how cute it looks like Simba with all the candy. Looks like the cat ate a little too much candy. Has a stocking on its head. Oh, thank you very much. It says the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Merry Christmas. Stella, Boo, Simba, Splash, Hydrox, Ditto, and LF. I look forward to every video. They are also very good. I look forward to your Christmas cards every year and keep them and display them every year. Have a wonderful holiday season. Karen Sobolevsky. Thank you so much, Karen, for your generous gift and your cute card. I'm glad you've been enjoying the videos. Hope you have a very happy holiday season. Boo, you want to help me open the card? Boo's had a little bit too much catnip today. What's it say in the card? Oh, look at this cute card. Look at the cat. 
Looks like it's been uh, getting into some hot chocolate. That's so cute. This says, may your holidays be warm and wonderful. Merry Christmas. Love, Kim. I'm not sure what this says. O-N-C-N and the zoo. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you so much for this awesome card, Kim. I hope you guys have a happy holiday season also. And here we have another card. Let's check this out, boo. It says Merry Christmas and look at the red truck. Stella loves red trucks. Stella will love this card. It's really pretty. This says, Dear Lucky Farrells and Grandma Farrell, may all roads lead you to a season filled with cheer. Merriest of Christmas and Happy New Year. Anna Blalick, Farrell Cat Lover. Thank you so much for this card, Anna. It's very nice of you to think of us. Hope you have a very happy holiday season. And here's another envelope, boo. What's in here? You want to smell it? Let's open it and see. Oh, Boo had enough. He says he had enough. And what is this? Look! Is it a boa? I think this is a new boa. A lavender boa. <gasps> it is so cool. Yeah, look. Look! It's a new boa. Oh my gosh, and it's lavender. They don't sell any lavender boas in the stores around here. Simba's on it already. Simba says he wants to wear it. You gonna wear it, Simba? Oh, it's so nice. Look at the color. I love, I love the color of this one. Simba. Oh yeah, he's having a good time with it. Stella, come here. Oh, you wanna take it off? Boo, you want to wear it? Simba says this is his boa. It doesn't belong to the queen. It belongs to him. This boa is so soft. I wish you could feel it. It's softer than the other boas. Okay, come on. Come on. Stella is sitting on a double stack of scratch and rolls. Wanna wear the boa, Stella? Wanna wear it? Oh, you look so pretty. Look how pretty Stella is in her boa. Stella, you're so pretty in your boa. Stella says, thank you very much. We don't know who sent it. It did not have a card or a note or anything in it, so thank you very much. All right, here is another envelope. Let's see what's in here. What did you guys get? This says, since Amazon wouldn't let me send the recordable answer buzzer things, I had to pick this as an alternate, less amusing. So instead of an eat your food boo jokes, you get to eat your food lucky from E.A. Williams. Hello, you itchy. This says, belated Black Friday gifts for Boo the Black Hat and Family from E.A. Williams. And it says, this space left blank intentionally from E.A. Williams. Thank you so much. We got a $50 PetSmart gift card. That'll definitely come in handy. 
And we also got some gift cards to Whole Foods. Thank you so much. I'll definitely be using those also. They have cans of decanned tuna, which is cat food there. And they're like 89 cents a can and uh, the cats enjoy those. So I could buy some of those for them. And I could also buy some treats for myself. Thank you. And here we have another package. What's it gonna be, Stella? What do you think is inside this package? It's heavy, it's very heavy. You think it's food? Oh wow, look at this, Stella, look. This is some of your favorite food. This says a gift for you, great channel. Thanks for loving and caring for the wonderful cats. Meow from Steve Kim in Chicago. Thank you so much, Steve, for this case of food. This is Earthborn Holistic Monterey Medley, and there goes Boo, uh, which is skip jack tuna and grilled mackerel dinner in gravy. The cats really enjoy uh, some of the fish food from Earthborn Holistic, and this is one of the uh, varieties that they really like. So thank you. They'll be eating this once a week when they get their canned fish. Here's another box, Stella. Look at this box. This is another heavy box. What do you think is in this heavy box? Look, Stella, look. It's canned food. Look at this, Stella, look. What is it? The cat's got a case of Merrick Perfect Bistro Rabbit Pate. This is the food that they really enjoyed in their recent advent stocking. This says, Merry Christmas, love Victoria, Jake, Onyx, Henry, Tux, Anna, and Minnie Farrells from Victoria Chadwell. Thank you so much, Victoria, for this food. The cats are going to enjoy this a lot. And Stella says, thank you very much because the color of the cans matches the color of her new boa and she loves rabbit. And here's another box. And this box is from Scotland. It came all the way from Scotland, Stella. What do you think you got from Scotland? This is a box from Smarty Plum. Boo has decided to join us. Boo says hello to Zookie is Smarty Plum's cat and this is a card for Grandma and Grandpa Feral. I'll put this aside for them and this one says Lucky Ferals. Festive greetings from Glasgow. Oh, Sima just ran by. Wishing you all the happiness that Christmas can bring and hoping that the new year holds the best of everything. Merry Christmas. That's a really nice sparkly card, and I don't know where Boo's going. They must hear something. And this looks like 20 pounds. Wow, they have really pretty money in Scotland. Thank you very much. It says to LF Stella Splash Simba Boo Hydrox and Ditto. This comes to say you're thought about each day the whole year through, so this is bringing special wishes at Christmas time for you. Season's greetings. Have a lovely Christmas from Smarty Plum and Zookie. Enjoy the goodie box. Please share with Grandma and Grandpa Farrell. Well, thank you so much, Smarty Plum and Zookie. It's very nice of you to think of us. And here is a 2021 calendar with envelope. Oh, check that out. It's like a really long calendar. See the cat? So every day there's a cat, and then here are all of the days of the month. I've never seen a calendar laid out like this, um, kind of like vertically. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, look at February. February looks like boo. <gasps> March looks like a baby Stella. Oh, April, look, it's a little white cat. Looks like Zoe's Marty, he's all white. Look at this, look at May. Almost looks like Simba. That would be Simba if he had Stella's white part, right? Oh, and that looks, that kind of looks like Simba, right? 
Oh, and here's an orange cat. Look at this cat. This cat's very big and fluffy. Here's another fluffy cat. Oh, and look at this tabby. And this one's a tuxedo cat. Look, it looks like it has a white mustache. That's a pretty cat too. Thank you very much for the calendar. Let's see what we got. The cat's got some dreamies with heavenly tuna flavor. And we got some Webox Licky Licks Cream with turkey and cranberry. I think the cats tried these last year and they really liked them. Thank you. And here's another bag of dreamies. And we have some nature's menu treats with chicken and liver. These look interesting. The cats have never had these before. Thank you. Ooh. Here's a box of Cadbury Dairy Milk Fingers Milk Chocolate Biscuits. I've never had these before, so I'll be looking forward to trying these. And here is a bag of Perfections Delicious Cat Treats with Taurine. These are chicken flavor. Cats have never tried these before. And here's a bag of Nature's Menu Treats with Salmon and Trout. Thank you. The cats are going to have lots of new treats to try. Oh yeah, and the cats really like these too. These are the Webox Tasty Sticks with Turkey and Cranberry. I know the cats will enjoy these again. Oh, there's lots of these here. Yeah, that's great. They're set for a while now. And here's some Webox Licky Licks. And this is liver flavor. And this is salmon flavor. And this is with milk and yogurt. And what do we have here? Oh, look at this. I've never seen these before. This is Cadbury. Bourneville Old Jamaica Dark Chocolate Rum and Raisin. That sounds really good. And here's another Bourneville Classic Dark Chocolate. I love dark chocolate. And here's Orange Dark Chocolate. Wow. Thank you so much for these. Yesterday I was in such a mood for a piece of dark chocolate and I really didn't have any left in my house. So now I am set. Look at all of these awesome goodies from Smarty Plum and Zookie. Thank you guys so much. And we hope you have a really happy holiday season and a wonderful new year. It's 3 p.m. I'm on my way out to run a few errands. And I just happened to look in here to see if I need to refill the automatic feeder. Look at what's going on in here. Do you see that piece of blue plastic in the bowl? Yeah, someone ripped it off. I want to say a raccoon did that. Do you see the other piece of blue plastic on the left? Yeah, that's, that's all ripped off of this feeder. So looks like raccoons have been trying to get into it and doesn't look like they were very successful. And it looks like I probably need to refill this with food because if this dispensed food this morning, the food would have been on top of the piece of blue plastic in the bowl. So. I'm gonna have to open the door, go back inside, and go get some food. This is what's going on in the feeder. It's totally empty, so I am going to fill it up. It's about 6.35 p.m. right now. I just got back a few minutes ago, and I've been taking care of some things that I need to take care of around the house. You see how big Boo's tail is? Do you see this? This is two days in a row that Boo has a giant puffy tail, and I just heard a cat screaming. I don't know if it was Simba or Splash. Who was it, boo? This is the runner rug that I got from Home Depot. Um, it's the runners that they sell uh, by the foot. And I just wanted to give a quick review of it because it definitely does not move around as much as the last runner that I had because it's, it's longer. I got it so it goes from one end of the hallway all the way to the other end. But I want to show you what's going on with it. 
Can you see like all of these gray fibers? See all of these gray fibers? They look really horrible. They almost look like tufts of cat hair, but they're not. They're rug fibers. And this is what the rug looks like right now after after a few days of not being vacuumed. So I'm gonna vacuum it right now, but yeah, I don't really like this. It is 7.11 p.m. right now and there's Hydrox. He's eating his second dinner. So he had some primal raw lamb nuggets and then I gave him some canned food. And he just finished that, but I wanna tell you what just happened. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a really big raccoon in the feeder. And I just happened to look outside when the light came on. There's a motion sensor light on the patio. So if there's motion on the patio, the light goes on. And I just happened to look outside while the light went on. I said, oh, what's going on? And a really big raccoon was walking across the patio. And I watched as it walked up to Hydrox, where Hydrox was just eating, as Hydrox was finishing his food. And it walked up to him, looked around, sniffed a little bit, and walked away. That was it. I uh, did not try to get Hydrox's food or anything. Then it just went to the feeder, and there might be some uh, dry food in the bowl of the feeder. And maybe it's eating that. I don't know. I know I refilled the feeder. Uh, yesterday or the day before so there should be plenty of food in it and Hydrox and Hydrox has been eating a lot of food lately so I'm wondering if the weather's gonna be bad or maybe he's just with the change of weather with the colder weather with colder weather feral cats burn more calories cats that live outside burn more calories in cold weather so that could be why Hydrox uh, has been eating more there's Hydrox he's walking by Another thing that happened today was I went to uh, check on one of the security cameras on the um, side of the house. And as I went to uh, look at it, all of a sudden a cat like ran out of a pile of leaves. And I'm pretty sure it was Ditto. I think it was Ditto. So I guess I scared him. But I didn't know that cats were hanging out in that area. So uh, he made himself a nice little, um, a nice little bed of leaves that have fallen on the ground. It's 9.30 p.m. and I'm sitting here editing a video and here's Stella. She's sitting next to me. She's hanging out in a scratch and roll in her lavender boa. She's been chasing Splash around the room with it on. She really likes it. She's watching this toy which is on. How you doing Stella? Stella says she feels very royal in her boa. It is 10 a.m. and Boo is finishing his breakfast on the stairs. I am supposed to be out of here at 10 a.m. I am going away on an overnight trip and I'm trying to get the cats ready and settled before I leave. So they just had their breakfast. Uh, there's a little bit of food left on their plates. And here's Stella. And I'm a bit concerned about today and tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow night. I should be back tomorrow night. Uh, because the cats have not really been getting along with each other. Um, there's been some fights between Boo and Splash um, and some of the other cats. Like, I don't know exactly who's been fighting with who because I just hear it. Like, I hear the cat fight and then by the time I get there, um, they've already uh, moved in separate directions. Um, so, I'm hoping that everything goes well. I am going to visualize everyone getting along while I'm away. Now, Stella, your job is to make sure everyone gets along while I'm away, okay? While I'm away, today and tomorrow, you have to make sure that everyone is nice to each other. Everyone has to get along with each other, okay, Stella? Everyone is going to be nice to each other at all times. Stella says it's very hard to do, but you have to do it, Stella. Everyone must be nice to each other at all times. No exceptions, okay? Everyone. Splash has to be nice to everyone. Simba has to be nice to everyone. Boo has to be nice to everyone. And you have to be nice to everyone. And if they're not nice, you can't be not nice back to them. You have to be very nice to them as you explain to them while, why they're not being nice, okay? That's a big job, Stella. I know you can do it. Splash, you're in charge of the furniture, okay? Make sure nobody attacks the furniture. 
And if you see someone attacking the furniture, you have to be nice to them. And you have to explain to them nicely why they should not be attacking the furniture. Okay, Splash? Your job is to guard the furniture. Simba, you are in charge of the bugs, okay? No bugs get in this house. If you see any bugs in this house, Simba, they have to leave. You tell them to leave right away. You got it? No bugs in the house. Boo, your job is to keep an eye on the yard, okay? Your job is to look out the windows, make sure there are no strange animals or strange people in the yard, and if you find anyone strange in the yard, you're gonna contact me with your thoughts, right, Boo? You're gonna send me mental telepathy. Do you see how dirty his paws are? His paws are filthy. They're so dirty. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Simba. What have you been up to? Good morning, Stella. It is 9.53 a.m. I've been away for the past two days. So this morning I'm catching up on cat chores. I just refilled all of the water bowls and I just came downstairs to start on the litter boxes. And I keep the litter scoop down here and there's two litter boxes down here. There's a litter box upstairs. And I wanna show you what I just found when I came downstairs. Look at this, do you see this? Do you see this? Do you know what this is? This was a pom-pom. This was a pom-pom which has been torn apart. So it's part of a pom-pom. And there's the other part of the pom-pom. So I don't know who did this. I want to say Simba, but somebody is now tearing pom-poms apart. Hey Simba, was that you? Did you get angry at the pom-pom? That's the pom-pom you were growling at the other night. Remember, you were hissing at it and growling at it? I guess he had enough of it. I guess he got really, really mad at it and just decided to tear it apart. Here's Boo. Boo says it wasn't him. He doesn't know what's going on. He's innocent. And there's Stella. And Stella says that Simba did it. And that Splash made him do it. Because Splash is in charge of protecting the furniture. And Simba likes to scratch the furniture. And Splash told Simba not to scratch the furniture. So instead, Simba took his aggressions out on the pom-pom. Okay, Stella, that's good to know. Thank you for telling me. And here's what's going on with their automatic feeders. Look, they ate everything. I think there's like one little crunchy left in the middle feeder. But all of their food is gone. So I think that's a big success. They had a little bit of crunchies in here for breakfast this morning. I still have to feed them today. And then yesterday they had two meals and both of the meals were freeze dried raw bites and crunchies. And then the day before that they had dinner and that was some frozen raw food with some crunchies. It is 7.30 p.m. and look at Boo's tail, it's huge again. So I was once again working on my computer and all of a sudden I just heard this big commotion. I don't know what it was. And then all of a sudden, Boo, Simba, and Stella come running up the stairs, through the kitchen, down the hall, past the dining room, into the living room. I was like, what the heck is going on? Stella's tail was huge. Boo's tail was big. It's come down a little bit. I think Splash has been terrorizing the cats. I think that's what's going on. You okay, Simba? Simba, Stella, and Boo are all really scared. And there's Splash. Splash looks like he's been up to no good. Splash, are you scaring the cats? Splash, are you scaring the cats? What are you doing? It is 9.30 a.m. and we are supposed to get 12 to 16 inches of snow today or like later today into tomorrow. So I have to come outside and make sure that everything is good with the automatic feeder. So like right now, I can see that there's dry food in the bowl, but I want to open this up and make sure that the feeder itself is full because when you get 12 to 16 inches um, and 
it doesn't melt right away um, it makes it more difficult to refill the feeder so I'd rather refill it now and it'll last for about 10 days once I refill it hopefully by then the snow will be gone so here's the custom cat shelter under the house with the window and Hydrox is in there right now looks like he might be he's definitely moving around there he is see him see his head he's coming out look how filthy he is oh my gosh Look how dirty. Do you see how dirty his paws are? His paws are filthy. They're so dirty. I I hope he has not been pooping in the house. I really hope he has not been pooping in the house. But I kind of smell poop. So, yeah, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. Um, so I'm going to give him some wet food also. And um, then he'll have a really big meal before the storm hits. Then there's the other shelter here. I'm going to have to kind of straighten that up. And this shelter is here also. So uh, this is plugged in. So if a cat wants to use the shelter, they can use the shelter. Um, so like if Ditto wanted to use it, for example, he can. I did not decorate it this year because if no one's using it, I'm just not going to decorate it. Um, I did put the snowman thermometer out. So like right now on that thermometer, it says... It's probably like 36 degrees. I hope Hydrox has not been peeing in the shelter also. Because his hind legs look wet. I think he might have been peeing in there. Oh man, I don't really want to take it apart and clean it. So there's still a lot of food in the feeder, but I'm going to top it up anyway. I just gave Hydrox a whole big plate of food. So what that is, is some of that Performatrin. Uh, chicken recipe food um, with some warm water mixed in and I also added some um, chicken fat so when I made some chicken soup the other day after I refrigerated the broth there was a layer of fat on top and what I did was I collected the fat and I put it in a separate bowl and I've been adding it to Hydrox's food to just kind of provide him some additional energy and insulation in the cold weather I just put the camera up to the window of the shelter and I really couldn't see what's in there. I'll look at it um, when I edit it, but yeah, it kind of smells like poop. So I'm wondering if he's pooping in half of it and sleeping in the other half of it. Hydrox just finished eating all of his food. I'm gonna give him a little bit more food. I'm gonna put some water in the heated water bowls and then we should be good. It's about 11.30 a.m. and I am running out to run a few errands before the snow hits. And I just saw this. I came downstairs to shut the light and look at this. Three cats in a row. In the past, I've had the round beds here on the sofa, but the round beds are all under the Christmas tree. So they're all just hanging out on the sofa. Don't they look comfortable? They look so comfortable. Boo's laying on the bed upstairs. It is 3.10 p.m. and it is crazy cold out. It is definitely the coldest day we've had so far. And I was just out there finishing up, getting ready for the storm, making sure the snowblower works and making sure the car is where it's supposed to be and uh, just making sure everything is taken care of. And just the short time that I was out there with gloves on, I mean, they're very lightweight gloves. They're just kind of like, you know, your typical knit gloves. My hands are so cold, like my fingers are like tingling from the cold so and let's see where the other cats are I just turned the light on and this is where they are hanging out in the dark oh, it's not totally dark because there's some light shining through the windows but you know it's mostly dark <laughs> they're all just hanging out here it is snowing out right now it is just a light snow and I'm hoping it gets lighter and stops altogether. That would be awesome. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm going to have to check on the shelters outside um, later tonight. I just want to make sure that they don't get snowed in. So if I have to go out and do some shoveling later, I will. 
and yeah hopefully hopefully we won't get 16 inches or 12 inches like is forecasted it's 10 15 p.m and i wanted to do some snow clearing um, because it had stopped snowing for a little while and so i cleared all of this off i started snowing again so there's probably like a quarter inch of snow on the ground and i don't know if you could see it but hydrox is in the window see hydrox yeah he was watching me the whole time i think he's really happy to be in this shelter and to have more room than the uh, other shelter that he had last year this shelter is probably like three times the size of the one from last year if not four times the size so he can stretch out if he wants to and I would say about two-thirds of that shelter is covered with the heated pet mat now the shelter last year also had a heated pet mat um, but this one has like vestibules and everything so there's gonna be less cold air getting into this one than the other shelter and plus this is also sheltered by the house like behind it above it into the side of it it's sheltered by the house so it's gonna be a lot warmer in there so uh, I'm glad he's in there and this is what the automatic feeder looks like right now I dusted off some of the snow from on top of it and I dug some of the snow out from around it um, but it's still snowing so hopefully when I get up tomorrow uh, it won't be as bad and this is what's going on here I would say right now we probably have like five or six inches of snow and we're supposed to get probably another six to twelve inches I'm hoping we don't get another six to twelve inches but we'll see and here's the other shelter this has a snow gauge on it and where this snowman is it says it's almost five inches of snow but it's kind of sheltered where the snowman is so we probably have another inch or two more than that so I would say we probably have like a good at least five if not six inches because that snow gauge is kind of near the house and can you see how the amount of snow tapers down as it gets closer to the house so it's not really the best place for me to put that but Watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.